So we're now we're going to look at a different type of voting. Uh, this is called uh, approval voting, and this takes a totally different approach than than the voting we did earlier. With approval voting, we don't cast a ranked choice uh, voting where we, you know, we rank our choices in order. Instead, uh, in approval voting, each person votes what they're okay with. In other words, what they're willing to approve. Uh, so for example, uh, three f a group of friends trying to decide which movie they watch. Uh, you know, Anne here is saying, I'm okay with watching Titanic or The Matrix. Either one's fine. Uh, and Marv here doesn't care. He's willing to watch anything. Eve would really on only really wants to watch The Matrix. She doesn't want to want to watch any of the other ones. And so approval voting uh, is very simple because we just total up how many approvals uh, each choice gets. So in this case, Titanic gets a total of five approvals. Uh, Scream gets a total of one, two, three, four, five, six approvals. Uh, and the Matrix. Uh, has a total of seven approvals, and so Matrix is the winner uh, under approval voting here. Now, you might be wondering what could possibly be wrong with with approval voting, uh, and let's look at a case here. So here we have a traditional voting preference, a and suppose that really everyone's okay with their top two choices. Uh, so what we would have is is here eighty approvals, A would get 80 approvals, uh, so we're just going to sort of ignore their last choice here. So 80 approvals would come from these people for A, uh, and B is going to get, uh, is going to get 80 approvals as well. Uh, from these voters, B is going to get 15 approvals, and C is going to get 15 approvals. And these five people are going to give C five approvals and B five approvals. And so it turns out that uh, A would receive approval from 80 voters, uh, B would receive approval from every one of the voters, and C would receive approval to from 20 of the voters. Now, is this okay? I mean, that's debatable because, I mean, certainly what we're getting is the the, the winning candidate, which would be B here, is the one that is apparently the least hated uh, or the least disliked among the choices, but certainly one could argue that with 80% of the voters preferring A, that maybe A would have been a better choice. Uh, it's also somewhat susceptible to um, strategic insincere voting uh, in which someone might not vote the way they truly feel in order to influence the results. Um, so for example, in our vote here, uh, suppose that, um, you know, maybe Bob and, uh, Bob and, and, and Alice here, and Alice's name somehow got, went missing. Uh, so Bob and Alice, uh, you would really much rather watch Scream. I mean, they're okay with watching The Matrix, but they'd much rather watch Scream. Uh, so they could, insincerely vote uh, by removing their approval for that option. And if they did that, it would, in, it would change the result of the election. Uh, and so they could, again, insincerely or, or you know, against their true preferences, vote in a way that would influence the result.